Uh, welcome back everybody. Uh, it's fantastic to see you here again. I hope you've had a great week. I hope school at home has started well and yeah I hope you've had lots of fun and enjoyed the sunshine that we've still got going so that's good too. So last week we looked at Hebrews 11. Can you remember the two guys that we talked about? They're not particularly famous in the Bible so they are tricky to remember. Can you remember? It was Abel and Enoch and they are listed in this book of the Bible called Hebrews in chapter 11. It's got this list of people who are faithful to God and the very first two were Abel and Enoch and they're listed because Abel gave his very best to God and Enoch walked with God as his friend. So that's what we were looking at last week. Hebrews 11, Abel and Enoch and learning about what faith is. We'll come back to that in a minute, but right now, check out this new song. In my wrestling and in my doubts, in my failures, you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Whoa, you are the peace in my troubled sea. Silence, you won't let go. In the questions, your truth will hold. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Whoa, you are the peace in my troubled sea. My lighthouse, my to show Oh, 
Hall of Fame, Hebrews 11. Noah! This is Noah. Noah is in the Hall of Fame because he listened to God. God created the whole universe. He created the sun and moon and stars, the sky above and the sea below. God created the animals and the people. Over time, the people on earth began to do bad things because they didn't listen to God. There was only one man in all the earth who was different because he listened to God. That man was Noah. So God was sorry that he had made such a wicked people and wanted to start over. But Noah found favor with God. So God told Noah to build an ark. He told Noah exactly how to build the ark, and it was to be the biggest boat ever built. Then God told Noah to fill the ark with two of every kind of animal. God told Noah to get into the ark with his family. So Noah obeyed and did everything exactly as God had told him. After seven days, it started to rain. The underground waters erupted from the earth, and the rain fell in mighty torrents from the sky. It rained for 40 days and 40 nights and then stopped. Many days later, Noah sent out a dove to find dry land, but the dove came back. After seven days, Noah sent out the dove again and it returned with a branch. After seven more days, Noah released the dove again. This time, it did not return. This made Noah think the dove found dry land where it could rest. Noah lifted the covering of the boat and saw that the surface of the ground was dry. Noah trusted in God's plan, and God protected his family during the flood. Now, the flood had come and gone, and Noah, his family, and all of the animals walked on land again. Noah built an altar and sacrificed burnt offerings to the Lord. God was pleased with Noah's sacrifice and made a promise to Noah that he would never again destroy the earth and every living thing with a flood. God put a rainbow in the sky to remind Noah and all mankind of this promise. Welcome back everybody. I hope you enjoyed learning about the story of Noah. So Noah built a huge boat called an ark and he did that because he listened to God, he trusted him and he obeyed him. Now I reckon you know what listening is because you're listening to me right now and I'm pretty certain you know what obeying is even if you don't because you have to obey what your parents tell you to do things and if they give you an instruction at school you have to do that too right but what does trust mean hmm so trust is believing in something that it will do what it says or a person will do what they say when you trust them i trust that this chair is going to hold my weight i trust that chrissy behind the camera is filming me right now hmm but our memory verse today is about trusting and not leaning on our own understanding. Trusting even when you don't understand what God has got planned. Now Noah did that a whole lot. Did you know he built that boat nowhere near the ocean and it wasn't like a normal sailboat. It was huge, massive, because he had to fit all those animals in. So everyone around him would have thought he was totally bonkers, but he still trusted that God had the right plan for him. Let me show you what I mean. Here I have my lovely glass and some lovely water. And just to prove it, not trick water, I'm gonna drink some. So, I don't know what trick, trick water looks like or tastes like, but it's not this. So, here is my glass of water. Now what happens if I pour this upside down? In fact, would you let me tip this over your head? I'm thinking not, unless it was very hot and sunny and we did it outside just for fun, right? Because what's gonna happen is the water's gonna fall on top of your head and you're gonna get all wet. So if I put this piece of card on top, 
are you gonna trust me to tip this on top of your head? Shall I give it a go? I really hope this works. <laughs> okay. So, if I move my hands, what's gonna happen? I really hope not. <gasps> Ta-da! I'm gonna put that back quickly. <laughs> so, did you trust me? Would you have sat underneath my glass of water with my paper on top? Hmm? Now, I have a tinsy bit more understanding of science than you because I'm a grown up and I search the internet and something to do with water pressure meant that that was going to work and I tested it out already. So I knew that that was going to be okay and no one was going to get wet. So I had an understanding of what was going to happen that you didn't know about. And that's the same with Noah and God. God knew that he had a flood in, ready and in mind and Noah trusted and obeyed God that his plans were good and that he was going to do the right thing for him. And that's what we can do. And that's what being faithful is. And that's what Hebrews 11 is all about. Now, you've got a whole pack of activities that you can uh, look at and check out and send me pictures on Facebook and we can chat about them later on Zoom. I hope you have a fantastic week. Feel free to try out my water experiment over your parents' head and I'll chat to you later. Take care. Bye-bye.